Virgo. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. I'm really happy you are here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo Tarot reading. Virgo, love tarot reading. Virgo, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet. Virgo love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's going on in your connection. Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in. The Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody making a decision here and turning this Wheel of Fortune. This is Capricorn and Saturn energy, literally weighing out some options. This is somebody having difficulty balancing work and love. Are there other contracts? Is it people involved interfering or just other people in their energy? Contracts, relationships, partners, it can be to money, work, family of origin, friends, romantic. This is infinity that is connected to Libra, it's connected to truth, balance, renewal, also some karma. So it's also an eight and that's an action number. It's like they're looking up here. You can see them taking a look of a uh, stop. They say in Ireland, you vote with your feet. So they're making some kind of choice here. And they're turning this wheel of fortune. I like this. Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy, because it is a turning point. This is going to change something here. Fate and destiny controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't once this has been spun. Destinies intertwined deep soulmate connection energy. It can be that you've known this person for many, many years. You know, we're going into Six of Cups energy here. It can also just feel that way. But this is somebody who wants to end this cycle. Literally. What cycle is ending? No contact, no communication, and or in separation. This is some kind of news messages could it be seeing each other coming from your person your specific person the person you're here for today the person that's coming through that maybe you weren't expecting who this resonates with you for for you <laughs> i'm tongue-tied okay all the playlists are linked below virgo your readings of course your zodiac readings You'll find all 12 zodiac sign readings below, as well as all signs tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective, collective love readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Let's take a look at the energy. It's the emperor and the ten of pentacles. Yeah. Yes, this does look like somebody is getting ready to make some kind of move here. The emperor likes to get their way, <laughs> Mars and Aries energy, divine masculine energy, coming in a balanced way too. So somebody that I do feel has been an ego and shadow, but is also coming out of that now. You see that onk there, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, yin yang energy, and of course, we are, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies, and sometimes they're imbalanced and we make some decisions that we regret. We don't make decisions that we should have made that we regret. In any case, this is somebody who is clearly taking that wheel of fortune for a spin and coming out of no contact, no communication. And this is what they have in their mind. This is the end of a cycle again. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo, this is your energy, Mercury and 
Virgo energy. And as I said, Mercury, my tongue was kind of tied. We are, and by the way, you know, if you're here in real time or not, it really doesn't matter. This is a timeless reading. You were here when you're meant to be here, you know, whether you're here in real time or not. And I'm channeling for you under Mercury retrograde. We are in Mercury <laughs> retrograde now. So I want to say that that energy, the intense energy of communication is really kicked up. So I'm not surprised that I am tongue tied, even as I bring forward the word Mercury in Virgo very much on their mind. And this is what is on their mind. And this is what they're coming to communicate. It's really long term energy. It's slow moving, but it's long term. Were you in a long term connection? Were you working on that? Is that where you were heading or was it on the table? Because this is what this emperor has in mind as they turn that wheel of fortune. Long term commitment energy. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, Virgo. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. The Nine of Cups and the Death card. Scorpio energy, Pisces and Scorpio energy. Why do I like this Scorpio energy? Because this is a really strong confirmation connecting us with our emperor that yes, in fact, they are now out of getting out of ego and shadow and that yes, that's where they were. What happened? It's not really clear yet. We'll get to that, of course. But it's really clear that they're coming in here in a really different vibe, asking for a second chance. That emperor wants to make things happen. <laughs> the emperor likes to get their way. And it's coming here with the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. One cup shy of the Ten of Cups. So again, were you, had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It is definitely back on the table. This is attainment and fulfillment, you know, things coming to fruition. And family, what family is, is going to be different for everyone. It can also be around blending families. We could be talking just going exclusive or introducing families, adding to families, you know. Whatever the case is, this is, it's here. And this has been really necessary here in the partnership placement, the death card energy, the transformational energy, the rebirth. So what needed, what needs to end for things to have a rebirth here? Their ego for one, what else? Is there something else that needed to end? Because we saw that in the two of pentacles with the wheel of fortune, that there is something here that ego, okay? Yes, that's really, really clear. But what else? What is that other pentacle? Is it somebody who was working too much, putting more value perhaps in, mater in the material world and not in the connection, listening to other people, cultural, religious differences? Is there another connection that needed to be completed first? You know, whether it's romantic or otherwise. That's the decision that they made. We saw them making that decision and turning the wheel of fortune. So it's a really strong validation, okay, <laughs> of what's going on here. So there, <laughs> your, your reading is wanting to come in. Oh my gosh, turn over. I would say I'm not ready, but your reading is ready. My guides are ready. So this is how it's going. I think I've said everything I wanted to say to you anyway. Just know that down below in the description, you'll find all the playlists, your readings, Virgo, all 12 zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs tarot readings, love readings for the collective, collective love readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, you'll find very long in depth twin flame readings as well. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much. We're gonna get some more, but <laughs> look at your reading here. So that ton of pentacles coming in with the emperor, making that move. The two of pentacles making that decision. What, they did, what did they need to decide between? What cycle needed to end in that two of pentacles in order to turn things around here? 
it's here. Is it something they're still working on? Perhaps this is, look at the pentacles building up here. The eight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. We saw the 10 of pentacles coming in. So this is really clear. In fact, our nine of pentacles is looking up here at the king of swords. Look at this, who's catty corner with the eight of wands. Super duper strong communication energy. I mean, that's what this is. King of Swords, Gemini, who of course you share Mercury with, Gemini and Mercury energy. Here with our Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy. This communication coming in here quite fast, and then it's going to change everything here. Gemini is all about communication. You could say studying the truth, gathering information, learning, and also so receiving and sending. And it's Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, oftentimes connected to reading, writing. So SMS, social media, email, unless it's possible to receive, you know, handwritten messages. For some of you, it could be. And really, it's just about how you communicate. So if you normally talk on the phone, my throat chakra is going a little nuts as I talk to you right now, <laughs> Virgo. Of course, you share Mercury with Gemini. This is really incredibly clear. And I don't know if I already mentioned it, but it doesn't matter if you're here in real time or you're here months or years later. I'm channeling under Mercury retrograde. So this is where your reading is coming from. But know that it's Mercury retrograde as I channel. And that's just kicking up a lot of the communication, all forms of it. Look at that Eight of Wands. This is, of course, a number of action. It is around some karma, too, in a cycle. And we saw that in the Two of Pentacles. You know, Three of Swords here. Validation of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. The Eight of Wands, of course, is also connected to truth which is in balance, which is connected to Libra. And it's showing a card here <laughs> at the bottom, which we're going to look at. Truth, balance, and renewal. And it's the Nine of Pentacles here looking right up. Look at this. At our King of Swords. Let's get the show on the road here. Let's communicate. I'm going as fast as I can because it's clear that this is no contact, no communication, and or in separation. There's a lot of heartbreak still here. I do feel... The regret, the sadness, and I feel it's real clear that that emperor has made a choice in that two of pentacles and is yanking that wheel of fortune is making a move. And this is long-term energy. So it's both working, working toward that to come here, the eight of pentacles. But it's also, and we're going to look at that energy in just a moment. Of course, it's also the commitment. It's slow moving but it's long-term energy. And look what is above our eighth pentacle here. It's seven. And that's Venus and Taurus energy. The energy of you just having been waiting, being patient, having put in time, waiting, waiting for commitment, I feel. Whether it's recommitment or new commitment or another level of commitment. And they've been taking their time here, yet they have you close. So it could be that there is a close proximity to you or you have connections to friends and family. It can also be, because I am feeling that coming through, oddly, is the Page of Swords energy that they're watching. You know, and look what they're working on. Their biggest wish and wish fulfillment here. They're working on this Nine of Cups. And look where the Tenth Cup is. It's in the King of Cups. How they feel about you what they have been holding back, not being held back anymore. Pisces energy, the master of emotions, coming here right below our nine of cups, putting us into that 10 of cups. This is wish, again, it's wish fulfillment. And it's Jupiter energy. That's the planet of prosperity and expansion, a hopeful energy, optimistic energy. And, you know, I gotta tell you, some wisdom, <laughs> some influential energy coming around that, connecting here with our King of Cups. Uh, yeah, 
they're admitting how they feel. It's not that they didn't feel this way. They've just been holding it back, suppressing, repressing from themselves. Has it been from other people too? I don't know. And a lot of the reason for that, there is, there is something going on again in that two of pentacles or was, they're working on it around commitment. So whether it's commitment issues, it's not being able to balance out the material versus matters of the heart. There are other connections that needed to end, that need to be end, that they're working on ending here in the death card. Really big changes, things ending, moving past something which we know was in that two of pentacles in order to turn that wheel of fortune. So yeah, they have been an ego. They have been in shadow that emperor. They've been holding back how they feel. They've been in some kind of commitment. I don't know why vortex is coming <laughs> through, but cycle as we saw they're they're definitely coming out of that and they're working here on wish fulfillment and this is strong energy of connecting via communication this could be in person for some of you it's extra strong for me that this is around sms social media email and perhaps even a phone call but really how do you normally communicate the Three of Swords here is, and right below them, right below it, excuse me, is the Eight of Wands. This is where their energy is the strongest. It's everywhere here at the Tarot Closet, but it's quite strong here. Saturn and Libra energy. And Saturn is the planet of restrictions, structure, rules, obstacles, lessons that need to be learned. Karma. So perhaps, again, something around that two of pentacles that needed to be worked out, whether it's another situation or something around your person. Either way, you can see that literally that they have made a decision. They've, they're working it out now or it's just being worked out and they're yanking that wheel of fortune. So this is definitely a message coming in, phone call, whatever. And it's a build up to that ten of pentacles we saw which is a commitment offer. So I felt compelled to pull this out, but this was at the bottom of the deck. It's the Page of Cops. And this is around some of the breakup energy. Interesting. Yeah, and it's going here, bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles connecting here to the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Virgo, that's your energy, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. What is on their mind? What they're communicating? Putting us right here into our Ten of Pentacles. And look at where the Page of Cups is. Right here connected to the Three of Swords. This is the, the heartbreak, the dismantling, you could say. The, well, yeah, the... The no going into the no contact, no communication, and or in separation, or just a lot of how you got there. This page of cups in reverse, you know, somebody who I feel like was definitely because this king of cups, I feel was most definitely in reverse as well as the emperor, which neither are. They're both coming in in the upright, but was not was emotionally, you could say, unavailable, hiding feelings. So that's definitely connected. I don't think it's the whole thing that was going on, but it's the breakup energy connecting to our Three of Swords is really clear. And it's also being addressed here, right in between our Eight of Wands and our King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands, Mars and Aries energy. Literally what you've been waiting for. It can be for some of you, there is travel involved. If it's possible to see your person, then this is... This is the travel <laughs> that's going on. But this is also just about bringing you two together. Look, it's sort of like at a crossroads. Two wands here, of course, around a decision. Somebody making a choice. And that's what you've been waiting for in the Two of Pentacles. For them to, the death of what? Their ego and what else? Is it just their ego and sharing how they feel? Is it commitment issues? Pentacle partnership commitment, is it to money, work, other people, whatever it is. You've been waiting for them to make that decision to turn the Wheel of Fortune for things to be turned around here. It looks like they're making this decision. This is Mars energy. 
which is also, of course, Mars and Aries energy, which is connected directly to the emperor, of course, who is making this decision, the divine masculine energy. And this is not about gender. It could be resonating for you in that way, in particular, maybe even an older male, but that won't be for everyone. It's the energy behind that, you know, of the emperor just going for what they going, making it happen. Cardinal sign, of course, a leader. Aries energy right there with Libra, Capricorn, and Cancer. But it's around making that decision. And Mars is the planet of action and passion and completion. So that completion energy, ending, no contact, no communication, and or in separation is really clear. And that's connecting me with the completion energy also of the world card, which is not just completing that cycle, but then starting the new cycle and going for what you want, that future energy, like a, a completion of the picture. What does that mean for you? Because we're seeing the Nine of Cups and here with the King of Cups putting us right into the Ten of Cups. We saw the Ten of Pentacles. We see the Seven here. Eight. So that's also, of course, the buildup. Your person working on that Nine. And here's the King of Pentacles. Here with the Grapes, by the way, new beginnings and, and a development energy getting us right back into that Ten of Pentacles. So this is definitely long-term commitment. Whether it's a restart or it's something new, it's literally what you've been waiting for. And I'm putting it down, which is now putting us into a bottoms up. Okay, so this is really clear. I have to get this down. Six of Wands, look at that. Two of Wands, which we know connected to the Death card energy right here in the King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. So yeah. The movement could be literal, but it's also around the communication. And of course, that sword is transactional. It's clarity in your relationship. It's truth. It's information. And look where the Two of Wands is looking right over here at the Two of Swords. So it's almost like a past energy of coming out of that because, yeah, this is around making a decision. There's a compromise here, too, around this. So this could be around for some of you around location or something around your connection and your commitment that they couldn't or wouldn't or didn't do before that they're ready for now. But looking over here, this is putting us into 22 and that's a master number and that's second chance energy. It's reaching your goals. It's like, let's try this again. And it's right, they're right here with the death card in the middle, which is what this is. This is your person asking for a second chance. Your person from the past, how far back is it going coming in here? It's really clear, working on this. The Six of Wands, really strong validating energy here that, well, it's obvious <laughs> that the communication is coming. It's just whether it's going to be in person or it's just via message for you. They're making sure it happens. Look at them with that victory wreath. And whatever's been going on in those five of wands here, Saturn and Leo energy, because those are, <laughs> here goes my throat chakra again. Those are some challenges, some obstacles. Again, it's around that two of pentacles and the death card. So ego and are there other people? Is there location, money? What's been involved? Because it's overcoming that. And they're even wearing... You can see like a little floral wreath here, which is reunion energy. The six of wands is Jupiter and Leo energy. And this is, yeah, it's kind of like you could say the victory after the battle. So it's after the however much time has passed between you. But it's not just about the two of you and what happened. It's also, well, it, indirectly, it's around whatever they've been needing to change and get over, decide upon whatever in order to come in here. And it's communication. And there's like a not giving up energy. This could even be around, you could say, a public display. So if it's possible, this is bringing in four of wands, three of cups energy for you to see your person, then it's probably going to be at a particular, at that particular event. And of course, this is around restoring some harmony and there's also some healing energy in here. Wow. Which is really clearly needed and is also coming here with an apology. Look, it's the devil card. Exactly. What has ego, first of all, you know, 
But what else? Because now we have this new mix and it could be, of course, around, you could say vices, addictive energy, obsessive energy, could be around other connections, money, whatever. It's in reverse, it's a release of that attachment. And it's also an apologetic energy. And there's our Page of Swords, which has been coming in. Okay. <laughs> so this is, I can see there's some energy down here. Yeah, these are yours. Page of Swords, yeah. This is the energy of them watching you, talking about you. And I really feel making some kind of plans. First of all, that's already really clear. And my throat chakra is going wild. So excuse me, <laughs> please forgive me. I'm just going to have to let it right out. This King of Swords here has been planning for a long time what they want to say and their strategy around that. So around in their head for sure, but I also feel like talking to someone. So if you know the same people, that could be the case in particular if there's an actual event that they're trying to get to or show up at. But it's also just talking about you and watching if you're connected on social media, getting information literally on you. And that energy of, of studying the truth and holding on to the truth and getting ready to make a move. Because that's clarity, it's truth, it's information. And look what just revealed itself. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse. Saturn and Pisces energy. Lots of Saturn energy here, you know. Restrictions, obstacles, lessons that need to be learned. Some karmic energy, which came in really very early in your Two of Pentacles. It's in action number eight, and it is connected to karma. And also truth. <laughs> I'm not giving you the finger, I promise. This infinity, which is connected to Libra, truth and balance. Renewal. This eight of cups is, is coming back in here with some lessons learned. They're coming in here saying, I've changed. I want a second chance. It's really incredibly clear. And what happened in this energy? Of course, it's the Eight of Cups. You know, it's an energy of somebody having abandoned the connection or communication, the love, the emotional energy. And that's been coming through really strong, kind of, well, yeah, holding back, a suppressing, repressing of emotional energy. The ego, which is the opposite. This is them coming in with it, with our King of Cups. So coming here in an emotionally vulnerable and open way, expressive way. I feel opening up, ready to communicate, a revealing way. Lessons learned. Oh, look, there's the two of pentacles again. What is revealing? Ten of swords in reverse. The empress. Judgment. The three of cups, justice, the moon in reverse, the four of cups. My gosh. The seven of cups. It's in reverse. So this is the clarity. It's coming out literally here. Seven of cups in reverse, eight of cups in reverse. Coming out of illusion, whatever they've been telling themselves. It's being honest. This is them being honest with themselves and being clear, getting clarity and being honest with themselves, getting out of the stuck energy of the seven of cups and the two of pentacles here, which came back around what is that because seven of cups energy when it was here are too many choices commitment issues being stuck here just you know you could say willy-nilly my mom would say farting around wasting time this is coming out of that this is truth this is clarity it's them coming to their senses which is why we're seeing that in reverse coming here with the eight of cups in reverse coming back in here boy have they learned a lesson Connecting with our King of Swords, which is making the apology. This is really, really clear. Here's the apology. Ten of Swords in reverse. The Sun in Gemini. And we saw that. Didn't we see that coming in? Or am I imagining that? I don't think I'm imagining that. Maybe I am. Nine of Swords energy of just being really stuck in their head, you know, one sword shy of that 10 of swords and then the sun coming up. This is sun and Gemini energy and having some realizations. But in any case, the epiphany, the revelations, the wake up energy is strong and it's here validating with our judgment. Two of pentacles is back. This is not surprising at all. And look actually what it's doing 
here. It's getting us into the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. And you know what that is. That's 222. And that's an energy of, like, you could say getting balanced, getting some... Coming out of imbalance, getting some steadier footing, which is what hasn't been happening here, but we see it. It's been really clear that is what they're doing. And it's a validation here with justice too. And that energy that came in with our emperor, of, with, the, with the ankh in particular, you know, as the nose ring of coming here now in a balanced energy, the death of the ego coming out of the imbalance, which we all can get into sometimes. We all have divine feminine divine masculine energies. So this 222 two, two is like getting a steadier footing and just like assessing, reassessing, assessing the situation, which they've done here in the Seven of Cups, literally in taking an action, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can, putting them in reverse and saying, yeah, okay, I'm getting this truth now. I'm getting this clarity. I'm on the move. Eight of Cups in reverse. It's assessing the situation. It's getting your priorities straight and taking the appropriate action. And what's included in that is an apology. I really like this, the sun in Gemini. And again, the sun is in reverse here, which is an energy that doesn't stay that way, but it is a validation of the time. It's like a delayed gratification, just taking forever. It's connecting here with our king of swords, our two of wands, eight of pentacles. So that's also some energy here as an apology, which is obvious that it's needed here and we already knew that but it's a super strong validation the empress we saw the emperor already now here's the empress it's a lot of perspective here two really strong energies <laughs> that can sometimes do a little bit of headbutting it's like power couple energy when it works power couple energy <laughs> when it doesn't but the counterpart coming in, so it's both, again, the divine masculine energy of that emperor, the divine feminine energy of the empress, Taurus energy, Venus, the planet of love, also connecting us to Libra. So it's putting them in that balanced energy, which is more of getting the truth, getting clarity, and being able to get out of ego and shadow and move forward. It's your person coming in in an emotionally available way, of course, connecting again, validating our King of Cups here. Opening up in a new way, being honest, speaking the truth, and clearly wanting to come and restart this. Emperor, Empress energy, strong. And that's the thing. It's not about gender, but it's the counterpart, which is telling me you are both here. So you were either already in that Ten of Pentacles, you were building it, or it was something on the table that you wanted, you talked about, you were working toward, or you were hoping for, wishing for. Wish fulfillment. So it's everything here, really. It's the apologetic energy. It's your person waking up, taking accountability. I think that this is going here, actually. And our judgment wants to go here. Waking up, taking accountability, assessing the situation, realizing what they want, how they feel, what they need to do to get it, that emperor. And apologize sincerely is here, a really sincere apology, asking for forgiveness, literally. And here with our empress and our king of cups, this is in a very sincere way. This is not somebody who's coming in here. It's not a, a fake apology, I guess you could say. Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, herald of visions. Wake up, Virgo's person, what do you want? Make a decision. Your person from the past coming in here. You could say, well, yeah, lovers, a lover returning, reconciliation, asking for forgiveness. I feel like begging in, in some way, airing everything out, truth and clarity, the decision, the balanced energy. Of course, this deduces into a two, the Three of Cups, Justice, the Moon in Reverse, and the Four of Cups. So this energy was has been really strong. It's the communication, Mercury and Cancer energy. It is reunion energy. It can be in person. If you know that you can see your person or that you will, then you probably are seeing them at whatever this event is. You know, and it can be around family and friends you both know or not, but it is... It, most likely something like a wedding or a party, 
graduation, that sort of thing. It's celebratory, okay? Unless I guess you could say it's at an Irish wedding because they have really beautiful <laughs> celebratory weddings. But I'm, I'm not seeing that this is at, or funeral, sorry. I don't think this is at a funeral, <laughs> okay? But you never know. In any case, if it's possible to see them in person, this is probably where you're going to see them. There's communication here. Soul, soul connection energy is strong. But if you can't see them, this is still communication. It's mercury energy. And this is, well, yeah, this is communication. And again, it's connected to, strongly connected to reading and writing. So SMS, social media, email. But again, do you, know, do you talk in person? Do you talk on the phone? Do you send messages? Here's the balanced energy. Justice, Libra energy, Venus, the planet of love, fate, karmic law, spiritual justice, the truth around this. I mean, the sword here hurt this connection look. And swords are transactional. You know, they're loaded <laughs> with clarity or no clarity. Okay? Truth or dishonesty. Information or no information, contact, no contact, you know, but hurtful. Look, whatever happened, the sword is dug into the tree, which is the commitment energy. It's the earth energy. It's your, you know, growing here from the foundation, and it's actually where owls live. So it could be around literal home, but it's also just around your connection. It's wounded it. And it's coming in here with the truth, a balanced energy. This is an 11. That's a master number. And that is around new beginnings. The moon energy, more an up, I guess you could say a strong level up major arcana energy of the seven of cups. Because this is clarity and the truth coming both to your person and to you. Opening up, communicating, revealing what has been hidden. Feelings, apologies. Obviously, some of this past energy or what's been going on in that two of pentacles, the devil in reverse here, ego, what else? You know, are there other, what are the other contracts? Again, money, people, things, what? All of that, whatever has been hidden when that moon is full, you know, it's illuminating everything that's been there that was in the subconscious that you couldn't see. And it's dark to light. You know, and it's coming here with the Four of Cups, which is that energy, moon and cancer energy, an element of surprise. And look what's here below it, the Three of Cups, communication. That's the Three of Cups again, validating, Mercury and cancer energy. So wanting it, but also feeling apathetic, like, I don't know, you know, just don't. I'm kind of hearing like this, just don't, this, like somebody is either, on the phone or in messages and maybe you take a while to answer or you have some kind of sharp words to say back and if this is in person it's kind of like following you around you know what I mean but you want them to if you walk away you want them to follow you <laughs> also it's like indifferent apathetic yet waiting for it and again these three of cups here that's the communication so whether it's in person or not because that's strongly validated for some of you is here so in person or not Three of Cups, this apology, Ten of Swords, King of Swords, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. I mean, I don't even need to go into it all because we can see it all. But I am feeling like I need to, yeah, because I was seeing that sun energy and I see one more. So these are yours. And then we're going to bring in some Oracle. Five of Wands in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. The Sun and the Fool card. This is super clear. Aquarius and Uranus energy. This is clean slate energy. It really is. Can we move past this? This is a sincere apology. It's a lot of truth. It's a lot of conversations. It's a lot of information, you could say. So whether it's in person or online or whatever, you know, a lot of revealing energy of truths, of feelings, hoping for for this taking a chance for a new path together, but it's clean slate. So it's starting literally here at the fool's journey with having everything, like not bringing what's in the past into a new beginning. 
Five of Wands in reverse. So this is strongly validating our Six of Wands, which I'm not sure where it went. It's somewhere here. But this is the reversal energy, Saturn and Leo energy. So it's getting out of that Saturn energy what the obstacles have been, the lessons that needed to be learned have been. It's that much is really clear. So what have they been? You know, is it around another contract? Is it around the devil card energy? Is it connected to their ego? I kind of feel like it's a little bit of everything. But this is solving those problems. It's working things out. It's restoring harmony. It's restoring balance. Four of Swords in reverse, Jupiter and Libra energy. Where you go after the Three of Swords here. So how much time has passed? Because it's not in the upright energy, but it is where you go after. It's the separation and renewal and healing energy. And it's in reverse here, which is telling me that your person is getting anxious and getting ready to make this move. Again, so whether it's at an actual event or this is a message. And the Seven of Swords and the Sun... The last two coming in is another strong validation of both the past, current, and the upcoming energy. Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Uranus energy. Kind of a chaotic, changing energy, things changing. Look what they're flying off here with. You can see three of the handles from the Three of Swords, heartbreak. You know, and this is sword energy, so lack of clarity, lack of truth, lack of communication, possibly hurtful communication. Somebody, it's like a running energy from communicating from the truth. Could be literal running as well. We do have the Eight of Cups here coming back. So definitely somebody running from the commitment or the connection. But this is about the, the air energy, of course. So not being honest. It could be strong energy with the Devil in reverse, the Three of Swords, Seven of Swords here in reverse of Betrayal here. This is in reverse. It's some coming back. It's making amends. You know, and in some horrible extreme circumstance, it can't even be if something did happen here, somebody was maybe even caught. They're coming back in here in the sun energy, Leo energy, source. And this is the new cycle, literally. It's the sun coming up, the conscious, which we know shines on this subconscious energy here and is, is doing all the revealing. Pisces energy, by the way, and bringing in Cancer and Gemini. This is the new cycle. So it's the end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation for sure. And it's the renewal. And it's deducing into a one. And of course, it's the opportunity that we know they're taking. It is an element of surprise. Look how it connected here right with the Three of Cups. So whether, again, it's in person or not. And there's also potential here. That's the sun, you know, life force and vitality and the warmth and coming up and, and shining bright and warming the garden, the sunflowers shining toward it, admiring the sun, like growing, so flourishing. So this is what is on their mind. And either way, this energy obviously is really, really strong here with judgment that... Why am I? Okay. <laughs> so this is it. I'm not picking up tarot anymore, but I keep getting led. Look, it's the Knight of Pentacles. More humility coming in. Look, there's the sun. I guess that's why. I mean, what is here? So the Fool brought in the Two of Cups in the Hierophant. Oh my gosh. Look at the sun here. It's burning off the indecision, the bad decisions. That's the other thing. What actually happened? There is some... I know that there have been hiding of feelings and commitment issues. It's just what has it been around work, commitment issues in general, some kind of vices, other contracts, because the apologetic energy and the truth is really, really, really strong. It's very strong. This knight is on the move here with the pentacle. There's a lot of humility in this energy, pushing through obstacles, coming here and saying, yeah, I know you've been patient. This is what I want. I'm working on it. So what are they working on? That's also the Eight of Pentacles, coming in with the truth, an apology, commitment, detach it, excuse me, removing whatever's going on there. But that sun is burning off all the indecision, which has been in that Two of Swords. Okay, <laughs> this is the last tarot I'm taking. The Fool, we already saw the Fool. The Two of Cups in the Hierophant. My gosh, Virgo, you're reading. 
Cancer energy, of course. Venus energy. Also, what is not surprising to me at all, telling me that you still love each other. You still love each other. Soulmate energy is really strong. It could be for some of you twin flame energy. It's not for everybody. This is, as I will tell you, this is proposal energy. And it's coming here with the Hierophant, a card of commitment. Partnerships can include marriage, long-term energy. So yeah, that's definitely here. It's here. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. There's a lot of energy here that it could be around a marriage proposal. But it's also proposal energy, so that can be next level moving in. You know, adding, you could say, additions to a family. Maybe just even for some of you going all the way back to being exclusive or introducing families. Strong connection here. And by the way, with this Hierophant, Divine Masculine Energy. So there's, we saw the Emperor, we have the Empress and the Hierophant. There may be another Divine Masculine Energy here, okay? And the other thing is this can be connected to, you could say, like expectations or whatnot. So there could be that there's some energy here of other contracts in the way of family or friends, or even that it's just in their head, cultural, religious differences, that sort of thing. But this is like our, you know, it's like our help. It's, it's you could say, mediator energy. It's a little bit like temperance in some ways, but spiritually, because there is a disconnect here, but it's also coming in with the Two of Cups. Virgo, your reading is, is kind of off the charts here <laughs> of what's going down. I'm going to bring in just a little bit of Oracle. I went a little, whoa, a little longer than I wanted to go in tarot. Look, the sunflower admiration. This is literally the energy that we have been talking about. Look, it's one stem, two sunflowers. That's connected to, of course, the sun energy, which is connected to source and higher power, crown chakra. Being guided together working together, working things out, the crown chakra, I know, energy, the two of you, and that's also a decision. Okay, so I want to move the energy a little more here. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Virgo needs to see, Aho. the most I take. There is another stem with two flowers. Tulips, unconditional. I love you unconditionally. There is a infinity as well. Truth, balance, renewal, the knowing energy. Wow. This is feeling like a really, really, I mean it has been, but it's really intense. Big deal, that's what I wanted to say. Pathway, passage, a new way, a new direction together. This is wanting to show a flag, devotion. Also somebody making that move. Emperor, Empress, energy, you know, it's strong personalities, you could say, just two really strong energies. And I feel like there has been some headbutting going on. Somebody here kind of making that move. The Sphinx, ancient wisdom. Firth intuition. Boy, that's strong. Ram leadership. There's the emperor again. Pillar support and ocean release. Wow. Wow. I'm following my intuition. I'm making this decision. This is how I feel about you. It's I'm overwhelmed and I'm coming here with that, releasing that. I know what I want. This is connecting us to High Priestess energy, also Third Eye energy, Sacral Chakra, I feel, I see, I feel. So it's connecting with High Priestess, the wisdom received. Folklore, you could say, you had to tell a riddle to get through the Sphinx. And that's also connecting us with the Chariot, 
the moon in Cancer energy to get the obstacles, to get through the Sphinx in order to get the chariot moving, which is really very much what is happening here, this action. Things changing, somebody possibly going on a journey. Traveling is strong here for some of you. I, not, I know it's not for everybody, but it is here. But it's also connected with that revealing energy as well as the, the pillars here of support. Look at this, of the high priestess energy and of them here revealing how they feel the king of cups energy. And there are three waves here. It's a divine number, divine timing, an emotional release making this decision to share how they feel and make this move. This is our emperor energy, the ram, the leadership energy here, coming back. And of course, the intuition connecting with both the high priestess energy that's coming through here, intuition, ancient wisdom, the sphinx, and the pillars of support. But of course, also the, ch the chariot energy, but also the moon energy here in in. in the intuition energy, because this is in reverse, and this is the clarity and the truth that they're getting and the clarity and the truth that they're bringing of how they feel and where they want this to go. You know, and, and underneath all of this in that eight of pentacles, the seven of pentacles are right above there. So I'm wondering what is going on with you? You know, what are they seeing? Here in this page of swords or hearing that has this just coming on so fast and furiously. Is there something else going on with you connected to this full energy? Is there some kind of other love going on that's making this person a little bit, <laughs> I don't want to say nuts, but the, the energy here is really intense, Virgo. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Bottom of the deck, not surprising at all, look. I'm going through an ego death. It's going here with the death card, the devil in reverse. In fact, I need to put our emperor energy here. Please open your heart to me. Two of cups, three of cups, emotion, ocean, release, king of cups. I'm planting the seeds in our union. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, our King of Pentacles. Of course, going into our Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, the Sunflowers. Yeah, this is what this is. This is the love of a lifetime. Going here with the Two of Cups. What are you thinking right now? Because you are my soulmate, Virgo. Your reading has just gone somewhere otherworldly here. What are you thinking? Because that's right, super strong energy of the high priestess coming in. And we have our hierophant here. So that emperor coming in, the empress here, the hierophant, the high priestess energy, trying to figure things out in this connection. Again, slow moving energy, but long term. And we know in has been in either some, some trouble in terms of communication or no contact, no communication and or in separation. The tarot closet love messages. <laughs> That's far too many. That's just me being clumsy. Sorry, Virgo. What do you want to say to your Virgo? You were so good to me. Well, that's actually wanting to go in the Seven of Swords in reverse. And actually, okay, so it just fell off and revealed it was me, not you. Coming here with the Five of Wands in reverse, solving these problems. Some of their issues too, I feel strong actually. I will never give up on us. Connecting with you are my soulmate. Will you wait for me? 
please never give up on us. It's really hard living without you. Please forgive me. It's holding here with the flag, devotion. I just revealed another one. I am so lost without you. Love notes from the tarot closet. More channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I want to be honest. Justice. The Empress. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Are you answering them? Apologizing to each other? Are they validating that? No one compares to you. Putting this with the Two of Cups. There is so much left unsaid. King of Swords, Eight of Wands, seven, Six of Wands, they're all buried here, so I'm just going to put them here. <laughs> put it there. I miss you too. So somebody having sent an I miss you, Virgo. I don't want to lose you forever. Four of Pentacles in reverse energy, Sun and Capricorn. The last two, connected. You inspire a love in me I never knew. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I really like this message for you. My heart belongs to you, Virgo. You are my soulmate. This is the love of a lifetime. I am so lost without you. Will you wait for me? Beautiful Virgo, that's your reading today. It's been my honor as always. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much for that. I'm sending you love and light hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Virgo.